What's going on, YouTube family? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, man. Country boy, trucker, man. Straight out of 229. Y'all know what? Uh, Y'all know what? Uh, don't get tired. Yes, sir. Look. Y'all already know I'm back at it like a crack at it. Like I always say, no disrespect to any one of you cracks at it. You did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh man, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Late at night, y'all. Late at night. It's currently 11. I got to almost 12 o'clock. All right. I'm up here at Little Rock. All right. I'm up here at Little Rock. Um. Picked up today. Had to do a couple back and forth runs. Take some tanks over to to uh, Lee's to Leesburg to our barn. The early this morning, and then picked my load up and brought it all the way up here. All right. So I was 600 miles plus the little other runs I had to do. So hey, we here. I told you I don't get tired. Now I could deliver like y'all. This I am on a mint run, so this load don't deliver. Supposed to deliver till tomorrow night. I'm already here, y'all. All right? And I'm up in Little Rock. I got two already at, at the door. Got two right there. I got one in front of me. Then it's me. All right? And I got, like, probably five more behind me. All right? And instead of coming in. All right? So, like I said, we're hot on the um, milk right now. So, so right now, y'all, I just want to... We're going to talk about some things. We're going to discuss some things. You know what I'm saying? Um... First thing first, I uh I went back, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry. I do apologize if I didn't see y'all comment and you left a comment and I didn't get a chance to respond to. Cause I just went back, y'all. And I gotta start doing. I'm start doing this like every week, going on my um on the YouTube studio and look at the comments. Cause I miss a lot. I don't miss a lot of comments. All right, and I do truly apologize. So I just spent like the last. 35 to 45 minutes responding to comments, y'all. So I know y'all probably got the comment late. Some of them like a month late, three week, two day, three day. I do apologize for that, all right? So, um, but as I was going through the comments, I was looking at them, man, you know, let me say this. And if y'all feel the type of way about it, y'all let me know, and I will stop doing it, all right? If I offend y'all, all right, y'all know my intro, okay? When I say I'm back at it like a crack at it, all right? No disrespect to it. I got my own, my own intro, all right? But y'all get what I'm saying about the crack at it part, all right? If I offend anybody, all right, let me know. I will stop saying it because I'm not here to offend nobody. I don't want you to think I'm offending somebody. I don't want you to think I'm picking on them or laughing at them no all right that's not what i'm doing so if i am let me know i do truly apologize apologize for saying that all right just let me know because I, and this ain't no disrespect to indian river or none of that you know what i'm saying i don't want to think you know i'm that type of guy because i'm not so y'all let me know all right because i've been he said the same thing for so long since Baylor and all that. So, you know, and nobody never said nothing to me. I did get a comment about it, and I got a whole paragraph about me saying that, all right? So, um, so like I said, if you feel any type of way about it, if y'all think I should, take that part out, let me know, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I ain't trying to offend nobody because, look, I told y'all, I don't want no trouble with nobody. I know I can't please everybody, and I'm not going to try to please everybody, all right? I'm not going to, because I can't, all right? So, this is who I am. That just is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, but um, another thing, I got another, another question about um, Ag Exempt, how Ag Exempt work. Ag Exempt only work when you're pulling milk, all right? When you're going, going to the barn, and going from the barn, all right? It's a, you can go, you can use PC Ag Exempt when you get 150 miles out from the barn, all right? And then, once you get to the barn, pick up your load, you can use Ag Exempt all the way 150 miles away 
from the barn. So when you get 150 miles away, you must pull over and you must go on duty. All right, plain and simple. And like I said, that's another reason why milk, our milk drivers get a lot of miles in because of that ag exempt. You can you can run it all day long. All right, but like I say, it do cut into your sleep time and you're gonna lose out on a lot of sleep. All right, trust me, I don't lost out on a lot of sleep. So, but once you get used to it, you can, it, it kind of balances itself out, but you're going to be tired quicker than doing regular OTR, doing other stuff, all right? I like running milk. I personally love running milk, all right? I don't have a problem with it. I'm used to it, all right? So, but for somebody new, you may have trouble, all right? So you get used to it, all right? Um, our truck service governor is 71 miles an hour, all right? And depending on, like I said in the last video, we don't hire in such such states. I see comments about they live in California. We do not hire out of California, all right? So, but I go back and watch the last video. It'll show you, it'll tell you what state that we don't hire out of, all right? Um, for as I think um, somebody asked me about, um, uh, drug screening, all right? Before you come to any river, before you even come to orientation, because they don't do none of this in orientation, all right? You will get drug tested before you come to orientation, all right? It could be the day before you leave out to go to orientation. It could be uh, two or three days, but they'll they'll um, sign you up. All you got to do is go to the um, local you know, health department over there, wherever they do your drug test at, go in there and give me a little scan, a little barcode they give you, and or fill out the paperwork. They already give you the what they already have everything signed up in the system. They know you're coming, so you take your drug test before you come to Indian River. They don't do none of that. They don't do no hair follicles. Alright? That's a regular drug test. Alright. Um they will put you in a hotel. When you come to orientation, so you can worry about that. They will provide transportation to you to get orientation. All right? They rented me a car from Cardio all the way down to Winter Haven, and I had the car the whole time I was down to Winter Haven because my truck was in Cardio. So I, I had to, I got a chance to drive it all the way back up to Cardio. Now, depending on where you at, um, you know, they may have you return the car at the near where the terminal is. All right? Just depending on where you at. All right? Um... Um, like far as home time, I get a lot of questions about home time. How home time works? All right, y'all. Let me let me let, let me let me explain it to you. All right. Indian River is a laid back company. All right. They really laid back. All right? I'm talking about really laid back. But don't abuse it. All right. Don't abuse them because of what they do. All right. So let's say I stay out three weeks. All right. And I say, you know what? I'm going to take five days off. All right? You say I stay out a month. I'm going to take five days off. All right? They don't have a problem with that. All right? Because at the end of the day, when I come out here, I'm, I work every day I'm out. All right? Every day I'm out. Y'all notice I don't even really take... It's been a while since I took a 34 out here on the road. All right? So I'm working every day. So... They look at me like, well, you know what? Let's give it to them. Alright? Now it could be now you could be one of the drivers that don't work every day. Always want to take a 34 hour reset. Or uh, so that'd be like, well, I want to take six, seven days off or whatever, but you don't took three 34 resets out here. Alright? Now, if you got a family emergency, if you got a family emergency where you need to stay home an extra day or two, they don't mind. Alright? But you have to call and let them know. Alright? Just call and let them know, look, I need to stay home an extra, uh, um, extra day, extra two day. You know, I'll be back out such and such a day. All right, just let them know. It's all about communication, all right? Because as much as they don't work with you, you got to be able to work with them, all right? So, but they will help you, all right? So, just call your dispatcher, let your dispatcher know, you know, when you want to come back out. And... 
If you need extra day, they call them like the day before and let them know, look, I need to stay up. So they won't plan no load on you. They won't book no load on you, all right? And, and that's no matter where you live in, all right? And far as our um, um, regional runs, all right? We have a lot, we have a lot of regional runs, all right? Some of them are probably already filled up, all right? You know, you probably can go home every every other weekend, all right? Or every week. That's depending on what regional run that you're on, all right? If we do have dedicated accounts, all right? I don't know if any position open. I don't know. If, like I said, you have to call in and see. And, and also, it depends on what area that you're in for you to be, to be able to get on those regional accounts, all right? Everybody can't get on them because it depends on where you live at, all right? And so be aware of that. And like I said, uh, my thing, um, they, uh, I said in my last video, they're dealing with the uh, technique, moving away from the Peterbilt, so to the freight liner and the Kenworth, and that'll give us, and once, once they get all them trucks in and they move, pretty sure they're gonna move the drivers I don't know how they're gonna do it. All right, you can come probably to come in when they get them in, and you probably you probably get one of them new trucks. All right, they can do it that way, or they'll move the people out the Peterbilt into those trucks and give y'all the Peterbilt. All right, so but I don't know how it's gonna work. All right, but I do know they're not putting pumps on Freightliners. They're only gonna put them some of them on Kenworth, which I hope I get one. If I don't, I quit. If I don't get no Kenworth, y'all, I quit. All right, I'm gonna tell any river, look, if you don't give me no Kenworth with a pump on it, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Plain and simple. So y'all need to tell, look, y'all need to help me out. All right, y'all need to spam any river and say, look, get this man a Peterbilt, I mean a Kenworth with a pump on it, all right? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. You know what I'm saying? What they saying? Uh, all right. But um, another thing too about I know I got some questions about the mobile app. Uh, me, I got a question about well, if we don't have no paperwork for our load, if we get pulled over or whatever, you know what happened or well. Let me tell you, that only applies to the milk runs. All right, on milk runs, we don't have paperwork. We get our milk samples and we have a barcode. On the back of our tank, which I showed y'all, all right, we're scanning the mobile app. All the all the information is in that mobile app, all right. So let's see if we get pulled over. All we gotta do is pull the app up and then show it to them on our phone, all right. That's it, all right. That only applies for the milk runs. Anything else, you gotta have your paperwork, all right. Got to have the paperwork. Uh, now. Every terminal is almost the same, y'all. Being Salem, Card what well, I'm gonna say, Cardill, Being Salem, Clovis, New Mexico, uh, Mission, Texas. All those terminals are basically the same. They're almost built the same, all right? So they do, like I said, do have driving lounges, some don't have showers. Wash machine and dry, you can do all that at the terminal. All right. Only like the biggest one down there in Winter Haven, that's where it goes down there. All right. That that's because that's the main office. All right. Um now four as miles. I think this is gonna be a good four as miles. Yeah, I get a lot of time in the mile to do our run a week and what's my average and all that. All right. And I don't show y'all, I don't show y'all this like for about what a whole month, all the last month, all right, that I was averaging over three thousand plus miles a week until like the week I went home. That was the only week. That was the only week that I didn't hit three thousand miles. All right, just like last week, I hit thirty six hundred miles for that week. All right, and I just came out the house. All right, so and because the pay period over here is from midnight. Well, actually, it'd be Tuesday morning, midnight, Tuesday, 12 o'clock is the cutoff date for that week, 
all right? And you must have all your paperwork scanned in before 12 o'clock, all right? Then when Tuesday come midnight, which is Tuesday, all the way over to the following Tuesday, all right? Some people may say it's Monday, but it, it said 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, that's Tuesday. So, but anyway, um, you can get the miles over here, all right? No question asked. It ain't no doubt in my mind. All right, there's zero doubt in my mind saying that you can't get no miles. You can get the miles over here. It all depends on you and how you run. All right, if you if you you know want to be just laid back, there's you know 2,500 mile cool with you. That's on you. You can get that. That's that's on you. All right, if you want 3,000 miles. Okay, now you got to push yourself a little bit harder. You want that 33, 34. Now you got to go overboard, all right? You know, nothing is just handed to you. You're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to work for it. That's why I say if you want those high mileage week, week checks, you're going to have to do what the other drivers don't do, all right? That means getting to your pickup, to your delivery early, getting unloaded early, all right? Learning how to manage your clock, all right? Because it all starts with the clock anyway. And if you always, if you type of person that screw up your clock or whatever by just doing unnecessary stuff, going, doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing, all right? Can't keep the left door closed. You always got to stop. You always got to do all that. All that is time that you're wasting, all right? Plain and simple. Now, my model is when I come out here, work. That's it. Ain't no plan. Ain't no having no fun. My job, when I come out here, I get in this truck. All my job is to do is work. That's it. Get as many miles as I can in every single day. That's my motto. And y'all see how it's working out for me. All right? It's, it's here. The miles is here. And like I said, if you don't believe me, go in the comments. I got drivers over here that, that work for Indian River right now over here. That be in the comments telling y'all the same thing I'm telling y'all. All right? The miles in here, it just depends on, on you. It going to depend on you and the fact that that come along with you, that you bring. If you don't have a good work ethic, you don't have that motivation, you don't have that drive or whatever, you're not going to make no money. All right? Because of you don't want to make no money. It ain't going to be because of Indian River don't want you to have no money. All right? It just going to be because of you don't want no more money. So it, it ain't no reason why you should be complaining, all right? Because the miles is here. That's one thing I can stand on. The miles is here. Whether I'm pulling milk, OJ, uh, any type of juice, yeast, all right? It don't matter. The miles is here. Now, I got a question about the hazmat. Hazmat is going to be rare. All right, which I don't, at this point, I don't even see, even though I did one a couple months ago, probably about two months ago, I did a hazmat run. Man, I said it was last month. I did a hazmat run, all right? And it's hard to come by. And, and to me, I don't see, I mean, if you're going to want us to have hazmat, give us hazmat load, all right? We want that extra 10 cent, all right? We want that extra 10 cent. So if you wanted to have hazmat, but we never get a chance to use them, we rarely use them like once every six months, once every, no, all right? I don't see no point. I don't see no point. If, if you got a driver, they got hazmat, you need to find those driver hazmat load, all right? Cause some people, that's why some people let their hazmat go because what's the point of having them if we're not gonna never use them, all right? But like I told y'all, this ain't, like I told y'all in my previous video a long time ago, this ain't my last stop for me, all right? That's why I, I gotta keep my hazmat, all right? So, like I said, this is this, this a stepping stone for me, and I thank Indian River for giving me a chance to work for them, and so, but this ain't my last stop, all right? But as long, let me tell you something, but as long as I'm here at Indian River, all right, I'm gonna show out, all right? I am going to do that. I am going to show why. And I am going to work my butt off every time I'm out here. All right? Because 
just as much as I work, I do the work for Indian River, they return it back to me at the same time. So in a day, it's like it's a partnership, all right? This is a partnership that me and Indian River have. I work for you, you pay me, you work with me with stuff, I work with you with stuff. I do you favor, you do me favor. That's how it works, all right? That's how a partnership works. Um, but I think that's it. Let me see anything else. Hell oh, yeah. Um, if you come to any river, have a GPS. All right, we do. They do not have GPS on these trucks, so you will need to bring your own GPS. That way, y'all see me with my small GPS on my dash with my gauges in, and y'all see the big GPS on the side over there. All right, that's my big GPS. Alright, so and I and I use trucker path and I use the garment. Alright, because sometimes garment will act a little funny. Alright, it'll take you, it'll stop before you know you actually get there. Alright, but gar but trucker path gonna take you to you know the entrance. Most like nine out of ten be the entrance. Sometimes it'd be a little old, but I haven't had no problem with trucker path. So if any GPS, I would recommend it will it will be trucker path because you know. And it give you a lot of stuff, a lot of features too. So I think they help out a whole lot. Um, far as cameras, the cameras in these trucks are only facing outward. All right, there ain't none facing inward, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, all of them facing outward, and all of them come with refrigerators, all of them come with inverters, all of them come with microwave plug. Like you got so many, you got so many outlets in here. You can put anything you want in here. You come with a TV mount. You can put your TV in here. All right, so. And that's one thing I like about Indian River and a lot of other companies doing the same thing. They making it where you feel kind of feel like home when you're out here on the road. All right. That would that would make the job a whole lot easier. Um truck washes. Anything when it comes to you need a truck wash. All you gotta do is call in for a PO. Say, look, I need a truck wash. My truck is like ultra nasty, super nasty. I need a truck wash. All right. Nine out of ten, they'll give you a truck wash. All right. Of course they want you to. Of course they want you to keep the equipment clean. All right. These are hundred fifty, hundred fifty thousand dollar trucks. Why not keep it clean? All right. Like I mean, you you may see our trucks. Some of them be just straight nasty, dirty. Hey, can't do nothing about that. That's that's how they want to ride. All right. Now mine don't be the cleanest truck, but they ain't gonna be the dirtiest one now. All right. So I just hate waiting in Blue Beacon. All right. I just hate it. You know. But um, uh, now that when we uh when we take loads, when we go through Oregon, we have to go through Oregon. We only can get fifty gallons in Oregon. All right, that's it. Because of the taxes, I guess. Because of the prices of taxes, or whatever. But you only we only allowed to get fifty gallons in Oregon. So if you ever have to go through Oregon and get get fuel, you only get fifty gallons. I advise you to get. Fuel in California, fill up, or uh, or when you get to Washington or somewhere. All right, and yes, we do go to Washington. All right, we do all forty-eight states. We go to Canada and we go to Mexico. All right, and you do get paid extra when you go to Canada. I'm not going. All right, plain and simple. Um, uh, what else? And most of the customer that we go to. You can stay the night there, all right? You can just stay the night there. So like I'm, I'm at I'm at Little Rock at the, um, this milk place over there, Highland Dairy over there. If I want to stay the night here, I can stay the night here, which I am going to stay the night here, all right? So most of the time, you get to some of the places that we go to, you can stay the night. They will allow you to stay the night, so you don't have to worry about that. They go on, shut down, take your 10-hour break there, and get up, hit up, so your 10-hour break up, all right? Um... Uh, what else? I'm trying to make sure I'm, I'm getting yeah I'm, I'm getting I'm getting any questions so I was, I'm trying to remember so I can just do a, one little quick little video for y'all which I see now about 25 minutes long so I do apologize but if you're still watching the video I really do appreciate it so um what else? There you go. Uh, far as fuel, all right, we use love, all right, we use love, and we use TA and Petro. We do not use if you need. If you had a pilot or a flying day, you wouldn't have to call in, but you're only going to get 50 gallons. All right? You're only going to get 50 gallons. 
I prefer love. All right. I'm a love fanatic. All right. I love love. Now that I tell you, I'm going to go to a love. All right. It's rare I stop at a TA or Petro. That got to be the last result. All right. But mainly we do love. Now, four ass truck repairs. All right. If you're on the road and you need an oil change, love, TA, Petro, they prefer a speed code. All right. Me too. Me too. All right. So they will send you to a speed code to get an oil change if you ain't in no terminal. All right. Now, this is where. Now, for in the oil chain, it is your responsibility to know when it's time for you to get your oil chain. All right? It is your responsibility to know when it's time for oil chain. So you have to keep up with the molly, which I think that is totally wrong. Y'all can y'all can say what you want to say. Alright? This is the first company that as a company driver, I gotta remind y'all, look, it's time for my oil chain. Alright? I shouldn't have to do that because whoever's in breakdown, all right, whoever's in breakdown, watching these trucks or whatever, should know every time we get fuel, every time, uh, yeah, man, every time we get fuel, we have to put the mileage in on our truck. And they want to get them chained out at 40,000, well, 40 to 44,000 miles. All right, they should know. They should have an alert system saying, okay, time for this, this driver to get his oil chain. All right. But no, it is up to you to remind them. They don't, you can go, y'all, I'm not going to, I feel so embarrassed. I'm not going to even say how long I wrote that oil chain. Plain and simple. They literally shut me down. When they found out how many miles that I had on my truck, that oil chain. And it was, you know, but we're not going to talk about that. All right. I was money hungry. I was greedy. But at the end of the day, your truck is your money maker. You got to understand that. And I had to understand that, that I, you have to take care of your truck to be able to make money. All right, so, but it's your responsibility. Now, when it comes to trailer damage, like I said, always make sure you call in, let somebody know if you got any type of damage to the trailer. If you're not, they will pull up the last person who had that tank, they will put it on you, all right? Now, I haven't had no damage trailer out of, you know, especially like Winter Haven, Ben Salem, uh, Clovis, Mission. The only time you may get a bad, bad tank it's gonna be coming out of cardio and i stand on that i love cardio to death because i run out of cardio all right but make sure if you have to pick up a tank i buy the cardio you make sure you do a full inspection on that tank all right because i don't have i can't tell you how many trailers tank that i don't have well the tire was bad um uh, some wrong with the light you know, and it, most of all them tanks out of car deal are milk tanks. So, but the driver, I said, some driver just not reporting them at all, and they just let them just let it go. It just continue to flow. I right? cause once like like I say, once we leave, once I leave here, y'all, this tank is going right back to Lee County, Leesburg. All right. So if this tank damaged, all right, let's say it got a bad tire on it, it's like destroyed or whatever. Long as it make it back to Lee Bird, I don't even care. That's how they think. Oh, whatever. They won't tell nobody. They don't report it. They won't do nothing. All right. It go back to Lee Bird. Guess what? It get reloaded and go where it's supposed to go. All right. With that same bad tire. All right. At the end of the day, if, if the company provides you tank for you to move freight to continue to move, the least you can do is take care of it. If something wrong with it, fix it. Because you because if you that if you wind up being that driver that on the side of the road because of a blowout or something wrong with the tank or whatever, you mad. Now you mad. Alright? Like I said, we all gotta work together. This is a team. Alright? We all a team. Whatever company you with, it's all a team. Alright? Plain and simple. Um so just be aware. Don't, don't y'all always see me when I do my video? I'm doing pre-trip, post-trip. I'm showing y'all. Make sure you do your pre-trip on these tanks. All right. If bad enough, it's liquid and it move all around. So at least the truck is is up the park. All right. And we do have this, the um expiration milk stickers on these tanks. So you also have to check that too to make sure these tanks are in date, are not out of date. All right. 
they do, they can reject the whole tank. All right, you get poured over, you get through. All right, you're done. All right. Um, I think that's it, y'all. I've been 30 minutes, y'all. I think that's it. Um, if you had any more questions, all right, leave them in the comments. Um, and yes, we do have XM Radio. I had one that had got that question. We do have XM Radio. You pay for it. Oh, that hey, that's on you. I right. I ain't paying for nothing. All right. Um. Uh. Yeah, y'all. That's it. That's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I know it's a long video, but I really want to get y'all question and answer. And you know this because when I say I want to help y'all, and so hey. I really do appreciate y'all if you stayed this long to the video. I think I got 30 minutes. Y'all y'all should have, if you watching this video, I hope you ain't watching this video while you driving. Hope you didn't let a guy that sit on this just playing and you just listening to it but not actually watching it. Alright. I don't get I don't get y'all 30 miles. 30 minutes, that's 30 miles. Alright, depending on where you at. Alright. To get you through your day. Alright, I'm gonna put this video out in the morning. I ain't gonna put it out tonight. I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. Alright. So, but I right, y'all, cause I'm still waiting. I don't know when they haven't started. I don't know when they're gonna start unloading. I don't know, but hope be soon. Cause y'all, I'm ready to lay down. I'm ready to go to sleep. All right. So, cause I've been up since uh, what was like six this morning. All right. So, I'm ready to go to bed. But anyway, y'all, it's your boy, man. Cut your boy, trucker, man. Straight out of 229, man. Y'all know what? Uh. Y'all know what? Uh. Don't get tired. Yes, sir.